months back, nag-feature po tayo ng property na developed by Demeterland in Valley Verde, Lipa, Batangas at ipinakita po natin ang kanilang Celestina house model. At sobrang dami pong nag-view ng video na yun. At ngayon, andito tayo ngayon sa Tanawan, Batangas to feature another project by Demeterland, si Hills Boy. <music> I'm Armand Cruz and if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell para ma-update ka whenever we release new house tours. We're also on social media. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Today, andito po tayo ngayon in Hillsboro, Barangay Santor, Tanawan City, Batangas to feature ito pong project na napakaganda po ni Demeter Land. Meron po siyang view ng Mount Makiling, napakalapit po sa Eslex, malamig po yung hangin dito at napaka-relaxing. Pag-usapan po muna natin ang location at ang mga available amenities dito sa Hillsboro. This is located in Barangay Santor, Tanawan, Batangas, accessible via Star Toll through the Tanawan exit. Malapit po siya sa schools like si Faith Colleges, malapit po siya sa City Hall ng Tanawan, Batangas, sa malls, and also sa ating mga hospitals. As for amenities, meron po tayong adult at kiddie pool, meron po tayong clubhouse, meron po tayong basketball court, at children's playground. Dito naman po sa Hillsboro, meron po tayong apat na available na house models. Starting with Gavina House Model with a minimum lot area of 270 square meters. Pwede po kayong magtayo ng 180 square meter house na meron pong apat na bedrooms, meron pong apat na toilet and bath, may isang maids room, family area at pwede po mag-park tayo ng dalawang kotse. Ang second unit na meron tayo ngayon dito sa Hillsboro is si Celestina House Model with a floor area of 145 square meters. Ang lote po na minimum na pwede nyo pagtayuan dito is 270 square meters. Four bedrooms, tatlong toilet and bath, meron pong isang maids room at kasha po ang dalawa hanggang tatlong kotse. Next ay si Adelaida. This has a floor area of 120 square meters with a minimum lot area of 150 square meters. Meron po tayong tatlong kwarto, may isa pong guest room sa baba at dalawa pong toilet and bath. Pwede po tayo mag-park ng isang pick-up or isang malaking size van dito sa property na to. Last but not the least, si Christina. Ito po ang itutour natin today with a minimum lot area of 150 square meters. May floor area po siyang 120 square meters, tatlong bedrooms, dalawang toilet and bath at pwede po kayong mag-park ng inyong SUV at inyong van sa ating carport. At ang maganda po sa Demeterland, tulad ng sinabi ko from my previous video about Celestina, meron na po siyang kasamang tatlong uh, CCTV cameras, meron na po smoke detector, and at the same time, ang loob po ng bahay na to is can be modified. Ibig sabihin, pwede nyo pong imit yung architect nyo with Demeterland at pag-uusapan nyo ano yung mga bagay na gusto nyo i sa ba, sa loob ng bahay, at magkakaroon ng additional cost lang pag lumagpas tayo sa nakaset na budget nila. So tara, ikutin na natin ang buong bahay na to. Let's explore yung labas ng bahay natin. Currently, we're here right now in our carport. Pwede po kayo mag-park ng inyong one car, pwede pong SUV or pickup, even yung van, mahaba po siya. Sinukat po namin siya kanina, ang length po natin, ang, uh, ng ating carport is around 5 meters or 5.2 meters. Pwede rin po kayo maglagay ng inyong mga big bikes or inyong motorbikes or even yung mga bikes ninyo. To your right side, katabi po ng ating carport, is our space for our garden. So you can, para po sa mga plantitos, plantitas dyan, you can put your plants here, you can design your own garden, and you can also put your garden set para po you can relax. And maybe, if you have friends, you can entertain them here. Going to the side of our house, since this is a single detached house po, we have all spaces all over the house. Meron po tayong setback na 2 meters all over dito sa side, which is can be another part of your garden na napakaluwag. You can also choose to have your alfresco dining dito sa labas. Going to the back part of the house, sundan niyo po ako. As you can see, dito sa left side pala natin, this is our sliding window going to our dining area. So, meron tayong indoor and outdoor dining area tulad ng sinabi ko. And dito sa likod, we also have around 2 meters setback wherein you can have your laundry, your dirty kitchen, or maybe you can uh, build another storage area. 
So let's go to the other side. Dito din sa kabila, dito rin sa kabilang side is we have 2 meter setback po ulit na pwede niyo pong lagyan ng inyong garden or pwede niyo pong paglagyan ng inyong mga gamit. Tara, pasok po kayo sa bago niyong bahay. Pagpasok natin sa bahay natin, we are greeted by our foyer. Pa, pwede niyo pong paglagyan ng inyong shoe rack or pwede po kayo maglagyan ng uh, small uh, small set of tables and chairs para po uh, pwede pong ano, upuan ng ating mga guests while waiting uh, bago sila pumasok or pag nagtatanggal sila ng, uh, ng shoes nila or ng kanilang footwear, pwede po sila upo dyan. Now, right across our uh, foyer is our living area. Pero before tayo mag-proceed dyan, pag-usapan po natin yung mga materials na ginamit sa buong bahay. Dito po sa ground floor, ang floor area natin 70 square meters. Ang ginamit po niyang flooring ay 60 by 60 ceramic tiles. For our walls, it's painted color white. Pero take note guys, since yung bahay natin can be modified, pwede po tayo mag-request ng ibang color for our walls. For our ceiling, ang ginamit po niya is gypsum board na holy white. Again, it can be modified. At pwede niyo pong i-request kung magiging drop ceiling siya or cove lighting. For our windows, it's aluminum powder coated windows po siya. Meron po tayong parts ng bahay na naka-awning windows. Meron naman po tayo naka-sliding. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa ating living area with an approximate size of 18 to 20 square meters. Kasha po ang ating full-size sofa. You can put your TV on the side. And ang maganda po dito is meron po tayong three windows dito. And we have one big window on this side. Sobrang laki niya. It gives you ample lighting dito sa loob ng ating living area. And we also have two windows the, sa other side ng ating room. And then you will notice also yung ceiling natin is cove lighting. Again, tulad ng sinabi ko, it can be modified. Pwede nyo pong gawin na instead of cove lighting, pwede po natin i-drop yung ceiling natin. Right across our living area is our dining area. Gustong gusto ko po talaga yung layout ng bahay na to kasi sobrang segregated po siya. Alam niyo ko saan yung mga specific areas ng house. So welcome to the dining area with an approximate size of 15 to 20 square meters. Meron po tayong malaking sliding window uh, leading out to the salabas para po pwede tayong mag-alfresco dining. Ito pong dining area natin can fit around 6 to 10 seater. It depends on the size of the tables and chairs na gagamitin nyo pero maluwag na po siya for our 6 seater. Now right across, katabi naman po ng ating dining area is our kitchen. Ang kitchen natin is L-shaped po siya. Meron na po tayong mga countertops dito. Pero hindi po siya yung granite, it's just tiles. And meron po tayong backsplash. Sa turnover po, ito po talaga yung marireceive natin. If in case you have certain designs or certain tiles na gusto yung gamitin, you can always request that with the meter land. Pero syempre, they will adjust the cost. Uh, even the cabinets, we are giving you the basic cabinets. Now, dito sa kitchen, right beside it is our access door going to the back part of the house which is uh, doon po tayo pwede magkaroon ng ating laundry at also ang ating dirty kitchen. Nagugustuhan niyo po ba ang house tour natin for today? Kindly comment down below ano po yung nagustuhan niyo sa ating ground floor. And also, kindly hit that like button and i-share niyo na rin po to sa mga friends yung naghahanap ng property dito sa South. If you would like to go for a tripping or an online presentation with my team, you can contact us via social media. We are, we are on Facebook and Instagram. Nandiyan din po kami sa Viber and WhatsApp and you can also contact us via email. Welcome to our second floor with an approximate size of 50 square meters. Meron po tayong tatlong kwarto dito at isang toilet and bath. Ang ginamit po ng materials for the flooring is 60 by 60 ceramic tiles. Ngayon po ito pong tiles na ginamit dito is modified already at ni-request po ng ating owner. Kaya makikita niyo is parang wood yung effect niya. For our walls, ang paint po niya is color white. For our ceiling, it's gypsum board. At again, depende po kung anong gusto nyo. Kung gusto nyo po ng drop or kung gusto nyo ng cove lighting. Let's begin with the first and second bedroom of the second floor with an approximate size of 7 to 8 square meters. Kasha po ang yung single, double at bunk bed. Meron na rin po siyang kasamang cabinets. At inuulit ko po, since ito pong bahay ay modifiable, pwede nyo po siyang i-adjust to your liking. Ipapakita ko ngayon next ang ating second toilet and bath ng ating bahay with an approximate size of 3 square meters. Meron na po tayong tile sa ating floor, meron na tayong tile sa ating walls. Up to sa taas, sa kisami natin, abot nating tile sa atin doon, we have our shower, we have our sink, and also our toilet. Ngayon, excited na po ang ipakita ang ating master bedroom with a size of 13 square meters at meron po siyang sarili niyang balcony. So tara, sundan niyo ako. Ang shape po ng ating room is... Square shape po siya. And ang gusto ko po dito sa kwarto na to is meron po tayong tulad ng feature nung sa living area na may isang malaking 
uh, bintana at meron po tayong dalawang maliit. Napakaluwag po niya, kasha po ang inyong uh, queen size bed or king size bed, pwede rin po double or semi double at meron na rin po siyang sariling cabinet. Ngayon naman, ang maganda po dito is meron po kayong sariling balcony. So tara, tignan nyo. So silipin natin yung balcony. Napakalawag po niya. Approximate size of 5 square meters. You can feel the breeze of the air. Okay? Kunyari, gusto niyo sa morning, gusto niyo mag-relax muna bago kayo bumaba. Pwede kayo po kayo maglagay ng tables and chairs dito. You can sit down here, maybe read, read your news, read some uh, articles on Facebook, or maybe watch me on YouTube. So, yun po. Ito po yung ating house. So, pwede, ang pwede nyo pong palang gawin dito is pag na-turn over nyo sa'yo, pwede nyo pong i-extend. So, nakadepende po sa inyo. Thank you for joining us in today's house tour. Sana nagustuhan nyo po itong bahay na to by Demeterland. Ako po personally, nagugustuhan ko siya. It's isa po sa mga projects na focus ko ngayon dahil po napakaganda ng quality ng building. At the same time, yung mismo may ari, makakapag-modify na kaagad bago pa ma-turn over yung unit sa kanila. Now, if you would like to go on a tripping or you would like to visit the site dito sa Hillsboro, or gusto nyo muna magpa-online presentation like we do, you can contact our team in our social media accounts. We're on Facebook and Instagram. You can also contact me via Viber and WhatsApp. Once again, this is Arman Cruz, and hope to see you soon in my next house tours. Bye, guys!